I describe it as a pacemaker for the tongue. This is a, a model of the device. It, it looks kind of like a pacemaker and it sits in the upper chest just like a pacemaker would. Coming off of that, there's a, um, a stimulating lead that comes under the, um, under the jawbone in the submandibular area where uh, the hypoglossal nerve uh, sits. The hypoglossal nerve is a motor nerve. It con controls the movement of the tongue. And so uh, this, the electrode um, touches that nerve when the patient's asleep and getting ready to take a breath, it stimulates that ner nerve to move the tongue forward, um, relieving the obstruction. A lot of sleep apnea obstruction is the, you know, we relax, our muscles relax when we're asleep and the tongue falls back, collapses and, and obstructs the airway. There's a sensor lead that comes off that implanted device. It comes down and sits between the rib, uh, two ribs. And that sense is when the patient is getting ready to take a breath in. Um, and, and so that's how it knows when to, to bring the tongue forward. There's a remote control that the patient has that they use to activate the device before they go to, go to sleep at night and then to turn it off when they wake up. In my training, I just saw so many patients with sleep apnea um, who weren't tolerating CPAP, who were looking for other alternatives. And for a long time, there wasn't anything, you know, really good. There's, you know, major surgeries you can do on the, on the, you know, the jaw bones and the face. And there's, um, you know, things like oral appliances, dental devices that can work pretty effectively for more mild sleep apnea, for the, but for the patients with moderate or severe sleep apnea um, <clears throat> who aren't tolerating CPAP, there weren't good options. And so that's why I was so excited when I heard about this.